Hi, my name is Mark Clark, an applications engineer here at QTE Manufacturing Solutions. I'm here to show you the ninth installment of a 10 installment uh, video presentation of what's new in MasterCam 2024. I'm going to show you what's new in the stock setup enhancements. I'm going to give you a little short uh, PowerPoint presentation, then I'll give you a live presentation inside MasterCam. So let's get started. So in MasterCam 20, 2023, they revamped machine group setup, or I call it job setup all the time. It was revamped to include the master model concept. You can select your model by a level, or you can select your model by just picking what's on the screen and grab it. You can also fill out the density of your part and get true volume of the part. This particular part right here, they talk about work holding. This is grayed out because they don't have a fixture selected and it shows you that under the machine group setup that it's marked out there, there is no work holding. What really excites me the most is what they brought back in being able to select your stock. Two points, rectangle or circle. You can also just get rid of whatever stock you have selected just by getting rid of it right here. You could also drag your part in both directions. And here's the origin right here of your part of where it is. So here's the button here to drag in both directions or toggle it on and off as you need to. <coughs> you could pick fixtures from a level. You can grab them. You could realign them to the stock if you need to. And they will show when machine sim or verify. The tool panel has not changed in MasterCam 2024. And the last thing we'll show you is you could actually pick a stock model in your group machine group setup and use that in your simulation or verify. So let's get started in a live presentation inside MasterCam. So here's my MasterCam part. I've loaded this uh, aerospace hinge part. I do have a stock model already in the part. Mostly what we want to talk about here is under files. Here's the machine that we have loaded. Here is the master model. We'll go select the master model. Shows up there as a solid. Done. Here's what excites me the most of what we have going on is now I could actually pick uh, two separate points as what I want to pick for stock. Come into two points. Pick one here, pick one there, there we go. Has no thickness to it because I just picked two spots in space somewhere. Now I can grab it down and really type in some thickness of what I want my part. And there I've used two points extremely quick to do that. We'll get rid of that piece of stock and show you another way. Here's probably my favorite is all entities and select and there's the part. Here's one that excites me too is both directions. Now I can grab my part, drag it, type in five millimeters, and it drags in both directions. Grab my part, drag it, type in five millimeters, pulls in both directions. Now I want to pull this top and bottom a little bit different, so I turn off both. I drag this up. We'll call it two millimeters. There we go. Let's grab a hold of the bottom, and we'll give it something to put on the bottom. There we go. Lost it on my screen and we grab something on the bottom. So now I have something on the bottom and now it is. Maybe I want to type these into nominal numbers. We'll put 60 here. We could put 132 there. We put 93 here for some stock that I actually need for whatever part that I need. Oops, looks like I messed up my width. It's all right. Grab it again. Oh, and now we're back to where we were before. Part setup, fixtures. I could go grab this off my a level. There's my level, there's my part right there. Now I'm grabbing it to hold the coating for my part. The tool panel hasn't changed at all. And here we go. Now I could go grab an operation, add stock models from our, our part and then choose what I would like to start with Verify. Turn off all the tool paths here. We'll fire up Verify. 
since I have my stock model in Verify, my stock model shows up. My favorite settings here is show the workpiece, show the, the stock model translucent, and now I'll be able to see my part run as it runs through the stock model. This includes my presentation. Sure appreciate you uh, spending the time to watch our uh, What's New in MasterCam 2024.